Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a love reading for Capricorn Singles. We are going to be looking at your love life for the year of 2022. So Capricorn, these messages are general. They will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So Capricorn, let's go ahead, jump into your reading, and get your overall energy. So Spirit, what is Capricorn's overall energy for 2022? Capricorn singles. I have happy family in the reverse. And I have community. Okay, Capricorn. I'm getting blind date with this community. For some of you, you may have someone, a friend, set you up on a blind date in the year of 2022. I feel like with this happy family, um, I'm getting like a divorcee. Um, so either you or this person, you may have recently gotten out of a relationship. You may have recently gotten a divorce. But I feel like with this community, somebody's ready to mingle. Somebody's ready to put themselves back out there. Somebody's ready to explore when it comes to the dating scene. So let's pull some more messages to go a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me more about this happy family in the reverse. Yep, I have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So, yes, yeah, someone definitely recently got out of a relationship. Um, a family unit definitely separated. I heard, like, heal. I feel like, Capricorn, you've healed. You've healed from the separation. You've healed from this divorce. Um, and it's like now you're ready to just get back out there, to have fun, to date, um, to mingle. You may find yourself going out a lot in the year of 2022. For some of you, you're going to meet someone new while you're out, while you're out at some type of gathering. Let's get a message for community. I have the nine of pentacles yeah capricorn you're ready you're single and ready to mingle capricorn nine of pentacles i feel like capricorn you're in a place in your life where you're really focused on stability really focused on building um, a very stable life for yourself and it's like i heard like highly sought after i feel like you're going to be getting a lot of attention in 2022 very highly sought after there's going to be a lot of people looking at you eyeing you um, I heard like the level up is real. I also see a lot of things leveling up, changing for you, changing for the better, especially in terms of your finances. And so I'm also getting notoriety. Um, and I just see you, I like, I'm just getting the energy of just being around a different group of people. Um, your status is elevating, your status is changing. So it's like you're going to be around people who really have their stuff together who are very well off, financially stable. Yes, yeah, like a, I heard like a different type of suitor. You're going to be dating people with money. <laughs> with money, their own business. People who really have something to bring to the table, Capricorn. So let's pull some more messages to go a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me about this Six of Pentacles. This is a complete level up when it comes to relationships. So this is you being with somebody who wasn't as stable, who wasn't as giving. Um, 
who really didn't bring as much to the table as you would have liked. And it's like now that you have got rid of that person, you've ended that connection. It's like now you're getting your just due in 2022. Now you're going to be meeting someone who does have that financial stability, who is ready for that type of commitment that you want. But it's like first... You had to work on yourself. You had to build yourself. This is about you getting yourself to a place where you feel comfortable enough, where you feel stable enough emotionally, mentally, financially in order to allow love in again. It's like you've definitely learned from your past and you realize that you know what? You yourself have to be stable. Like not only do you want someone who can bring something to the table, but you also have to have something to bring to the table as well, Capricorn. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Stuck in the past. Someone is stuck in the past. So, yeah. Capricorn... Someone stuck in the past, but it's not you. I feel like there's going to be a lot of people from your past or someone from your past who's going to be trying to come back in 2022. Someone is stuck on you because you're not stuck in the past. You're focused on the future. You're focused on building. Yeah, there's somebody who's going to try to come back. This is somebody who you separated from, who you walked away from, who you had a family with, who you possibly got a divorce from. It's like they're stuck on you. They can't get over you. It's like they don't want you to move on without them. Let's get a message for the Nine of Pentacles. can't make this up Capricorn level up level up yes you are leveling up in life yeah Capricorn you're leveling leveling up you're going to higher heights Capricorn you're getting ready I'm just getting like a new group of people a new group of friends like you're getting ready to be around people who are very affluent yes who's really going to have a very similar lifestyle to you yeah, you're leveling up. I'm getting like with this leveling up, you're going to change the way that you dress, the way that you um, appear to others, your hair. Um, you may wear more finer quality of clothing, more designer clothing. Um, you may change the type of car that you drive. Yeah, you. I heard home for some of you. You're going to be purchasing a new home. I heard first time home buyer. You may be purchasing purchasing your first home Capricorn but you're getting ready to go to the next level when it comes to your career your finances are going to be looking good so it's like you're going to be calling in that same type of energy so let's get some more messages you're going to be meeting someone who's on your level I have trapped somebody stuck in the past like and like i said it's not you it's somebody in your past who can't get over you they feel like they missed out on the opportunity Look at what I have. No contact. I feel like when there's no contact, like, I, I'm getting, like, the great separation. You're going to be changing a lot about yourself, a lot about your life, a lot about the people that you hang around with. Like, the, the people that you hang around with now, Capricorn, will not be the same people you are with six months to a year from now. Like, a lot of a lot about your life is getting ready to change, is getting ready to evolve. You are definitely going to be around a different group of people. Let's get another message. I 
I have new love. Yes, you have a new relationship coming in in the year of 2022. Let's get one more message. And this is going to be someone who gives to you. I'm also getting this person's going to want a family. I'm looking at the children. I'm getting two children. This person may have two children. I heard like a single mother or two. And then I have responsibilities. I feel like Capricorn, you're going to have a lot on your plate next year. You're going to be dealing with um, a lot of different shifts in your life. Um, and you're going to have a lot of highs. You're going to have a lot of moments where you want to celebrate. But at the same time, like I heard work, it may be a lot of work. You may feel like you don't have enough time. But Spirit is saying like it's important for you to create the time. I feel like both of you and this person may be workaholics. You may both be very career focused. So it's going to be very important for both of you to create the time when it comes to this new relationship. I'm also getting with responsibilities like with this past person. They didn't want to step up to the plate and be the man or the woman that you needed them to be. Let's clarify the messages. Spirit tell me about trap. I have the Hermit. For some of you, you could have been dealing with a Virgo. But yeah, I feel like this person is just stuck. They're in a very stuck place in their life, a very stuck energy. I feel like you have completely detached from this person. You're no longer speaking to this person, but it's like, I heard like I can't get you out of my head. Yeah, this person can't stop thinking about you. Thinking about what they lost, what they missed out on. Let's get a message for no contact. I have the King of Swords in the reverse. You're going to be detaching from people who are low vibrational, who are not on the same page as you, who don't want the same things that you want out of life. Um, I also heard gossip. I feel like if there are people around you who gossip a lot, who uh, like to come from a negative aspect or who are very negative in general it's like you're going to be releasing these people um i heard like intentions you're not going to be around people who don't have good intentions um you're not going to be around people who talk down to you who try to put you down who try to create doubt um who tries to stop you from getting to the next level You're going to be cutting a lot of people off in the year 2022. If they don't match your vibe, Virgo, then they can't be in your tribe. And I said Virgo. I meant Capricorn. For some of you, you may have Virgo placements in your chart. In your charts. Significant Virgo placements like a moon or a rising. But yes, if they don't match your vibe, then they can't be a part of your tribe. You are cutting people off. Let's get a message for new love. <laughs> the Empress, yeah. This is definitely a new relationship. This is going to be someone you have a family with. You're going to see this as someone you can have a family with. This person is going to see you as someone they can have a family with. Build with very nurturing, loving, caring. Have everything together mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. Yes. 
You got it all. And I keep wanting to say Virgo. So for someone, this new person coming in could be a Virgo. You can have significant Virgo placements. But yeah, there's a lot of Virgo energy in this reading. Let's get a message for responsibilities. Six of Wands, yes. You may have more responsibilities, but it's like you're winning. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Like ultimately, yeah, you may have more responsibilities. You may have a little bit more on your plate. Um, you may have to really plan things out when it comes to time. But it's like overall, Capricorn, you're winning. This is like your winning season. You're going to be winning in 2022. In every aspect, in every arena, you're winning. So let's pull some overall advice. I also see like some of you stepping up into a leadership role as well. You being in a leadership role, I'm also getting like you're going to be taking um, charge of your life more. You're going to get a lot of notoriety. Yeah, I heard busy. For some of you, you're definitely getting ready to enter into a busy season next year. But it's going to be one of fulfillment, of joy, of new opportunities that you would have never imagined for yourself. Yeah, this is like, I'm just getting like, everything is finally going to be coming together. Everything that you've wanted, everything that you've asked for is finally going to be happening next year. And I heard like a build up. Yeah, everything that you've been going through, I'm getting like for the past year and a half to two years, it's just been a build up to this point. Let's get some advice. Spirit, what advice do you have for Capricorn? Advice for Capricorn. Accept him for who he is today, not who you hope he will be. So yeah, Capricorn, this is about you learning. I feel like this was a lesson for you. You had to learn that you can't change anyone. Yes, you're very good hearted, very good natured. You're a nurturer, but ultimately you can't fix anyone but yourself. They have to want to change. And this is a lesson that you needed to learn, that you have to accept people for who they are. If someone shows you who they are, Capricorn, believe them. You had to release the expectations. That's what you had to do. You had to release the expectations that you had for other people. Because those expectations that you had, those people or that person was not going to be able to meet. Because that wasn't who they saw themselves as. So yes, Capricorn, it's like accept people for who they are. And this is something Spirit wants you to remember as you enter into this new connection, like accept this person for who they show you that they are. Not for any less, not for any more, but exactly for who they reveal themselves to be. Not who you want them to be. So Capricorn, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.